Hello everyone, Ron and David here coming to you from our website, astrologynewsreport.com. Now we look at the upcoming planetary patterns and predictions. What's in store in the heavens for September 1st through September 8th and beyond? We do have some changes to report on in the planetary pattern coming this week. And they are all happening on the same day. That is Thursday, September 5th. Thursday this week is Change the Energy Day. All right, so first up, there's a new moon on Thursday, which will be at 19 degrees Leo. This marks the beginning of the Hindu lunar month, Bhadrapada, named for the nakshatra of the full moon, Purvabhadra, which will be on September 19th at 2 degrees Pisces. The month of Bhadrapada has a rather nasty reputation in Vedic astrology. History shows us that there have been a lot of unpleasant events during this time of, ye of the year. A few from recent memory like the 9-11 event, Hurricane Katrina, the financial crash of 2008, and even the start of the biggest war in history, that being World War II. And uh, just as a quick aside, in my uh, upcoming newsletter, we have part two of the Astrology of the War, um, article written by David, in which we, we discuss the birth chart of World War II and why it is so very brutal. Uh, this ar article can be found on your website, Ron, livingskillfully.com. Yeah, as soon as I put it up there, it's not there yet. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also coming up this Thursday, September 5th, Venus will be changing signs. After nearly a month being debilitated in Virgo, Venus will move into its own sign, Libra. A planet in its own sign is considered strong and favorable, but <laughs> this time not all is well in Libra because Venus will join up with two major malefic planets, Rahu and Saturn, who have been transiting in Libra all this year. Additionally, Venus will now be receiving the square aspect from Mars. So with Venus co-joined with two malefics and simultaneously aspected by a third, wouldn't you say that the significations of Venus are likely to suffer during the upcoming uh, the coming weeks. Yes, indeed, David. You and I will undoubtedly be finding all sorts of stories related to Venus in trouble through the rest of this month. Again, on Thursday, September 5th, we have Mercury changing signs. Mercury re uh, leaves Leo, where it has been for nearly three weeks, and moves to Virgo. Since Virgo is Mercury's own sign, Mercury is strong and happy here. So mostly we can expect the significations of Mercury to prosper for the next couple of weeks, better communications, more reasonable discussions, and maybe some better media analysis. Ah, but not all is smooth for Mercury in Virgo, because across the heavens, in Pisces, lies Uranus, the planet of unexpected events. Ah, uh, yes, our favorite planet of sudden events, rebellion, and disruption. Its influence on the planet of communications is likely to bring some unexpected media stories, no doubt also some radical thinking, as well as an assortment of gaffes, people barking out of turn, and so forth. Yeah, well, I'm looking forward to all the embarrassing stuff that you, of course, will be reporting on, David. Oh, well, <laughs> next, uh, <laughs> okay. next Sunday, September 8th, the square aspect of Mars on Saturn will be exact. We have been keeping track of this planetary combination and noting examples uh, from the past few weeks, and now the pattern becomes exact. Mars will be at 13 degrees of Cancer, with Saturn at 13 degrees and Rahu at 14 degrees of Libra next weekend. September 6th through September 8th. Yeah, it's um, rather unusual for three planets to create an exact geometric pattern in the heavens. It forces the planetary energies to interact. And in this case, since all three of the planets are natural malefics, the potential for difficult, unpleasant, and potentially destructive events is very strong. Why don't you give us a uh, rundown on some of the possibilities, David? Well, the situation in the Middle East immediately comes to mind. As I reported in last week's show, Saturn is oil, Mars is fuels, Saturn is the establishment, Mars is violence, Saturn very slow, and Mars is hasty. With Mars in its sign of debilitation, it just gets worse. Then there's Rahu contributing its smoky, obscuring, demonic energy. I mean, in general, it looks like a recipe for things to really get out of hand. Events could come from the human realm, 
or from natural forces like a major storm or earthquake. Remember that Saturn is structure, stability, and security, and is under attack from Mars. Gee, David, so much uh, comforting stuff to look forward to. What recommendations do you have for how people can get through the next couple of weeks? Well, first off, I would recommend folks being really careful while out in public. You don't want to get caught up in a collective karmic moment. The energy will be pretty intense. Likely some individuals out there will snap. So remember to take deep breaths, watch your anger meter, keep some comfort food on hand, hand or maybe if you prefer something a little stronger. Uh, okay, okay, that's enough. Uh, <laughs> we have to be careful what we advocate on this show. Anyway, uh, we will be back next week with a full report. And I will try my best to maintain a sweet disposition. Good luck with that. 